Now it's my pleasure to introduce a woman who, as I learned at lunch, probably holds more portfolios in China than any other single person in charge of health, education, media, uh, what did I, uh, sports. I mean, you run the list, culture. Uh, it's quite extraordinary. And I'm really delighted to introduce her to you, the Vice Premier of China, Madam Liu. The Honorable Secretary of State John Kerry, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. I told you she was powerful. <laughs> it has been a great pleasure for me to co chair the fourth round of China-U.S. high-level consultation on people-to-people -people exchange CPE with Secretary Kerry. Right now, the coordinators of both sides, Under Secretary Ryan and uh, Vice Education Minister Hao Ping, have made wonderful remarks. And I also want to thank Secretary Kerry for his important remarks. I believe that the Chinese President, Mr. Xi Jinping, attaches great importance to this consultation. And he has sent to us a message of congratulation, and I would like to read to you now. On the occasion of the conclusion of the fourth round of China-U.S. high-level consultation on people-to-people -people exchange, I would like to extend my warm congratulations. The China-U.S. relationship is one of the most important bilateral relations in this world. China is the world's biggest developing country, and the U.S. the biggest developed one. China and the U.S. are both permanent members of the UN Security Council. Our two countries face common challenges and shoulder important responsibilities in addressing a number of issues concerning world peace and development. To build between China and the United States a new model of major country relationship that features no conflict or confrontation, mutual respect and win-win cooperation, calls for active support and broad participation by the public and various social sectors in both countries. Over the years, the people-to-people -people exchange has played a positive role in enhancing China-U.S. relations and become an important pillar for the growth of the relations between our two countries. During the past three years in particular, nearly 100 outcomes under the CPE framework have been implemented. And this has enhanced the level of people-to-people -people exchange between our two countries and provided new impetus to the growth of China-U.S. relations. I hope the CPE mechanism will build on the past achievements and open up new prospects, expand areas of communication, deepen cooperation, and make new contribution to building the bridge of heart-to-heart -heart communication between the Chinese and American peoples and the development of the new model of major country relationship between China and the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, the messages of congratulations from President Xi Jinping and President Obama reflect the important agreement between our two presidents on deepening people-to-people -people exchange between our two countries. This will surely lend an important impetus to the building of the new model of major country relationship between China and the United States. The Secretary and I have just signed the Memorandum of Understanding on high-level consultation on people-to-people -people exchange. Our coordinators have briefed us on the outcomes of consultations in each field, and we have heard excellent ideas from youth representatives on how to build the new model of major country relationship and increase youth exchanges. I'm truly encouraged by what I've heard. I wish to congratulate you on the success of this round of consultation, and I thank both teams for their hard work, and Secretary Kerry and our American colleagues for their gracious hospitality and thoughtful arrangements. 
people-to-people -people exchange between China and America has a time-honored history. As early as over 200 years ago, the merchant ship Empress of China left New York Harbor for China, marking the beginning of China-U.S. friendly exchange. More than 70 years ago, the people of China and America fought shoulder to shoulder in the anti-fascist war and forged profound friendship. And about 1,500 American from the Flying Tigers have contributed their lives to this endeavor. Forty-two years ago, the ping-pong diplomacy, which attracted worldwide attention, reopened the once closed gate of China-U.S. exchange. In early 1979, Mr. Deng Xiaoping paid a visit to the United States. The moment when Deng tried on the cowboy hat at a rodeo in Simonton became a classic snapshot in the history of China-U.S. exchange. And 28 years ago, a party secretary from a Chinese county, who is now the president of China, Mr. Xi Jinping, visited the United States. And during his visit, he stayed with a local family for two nights in a small town in Iowa, where he developed a friendship with local residents. During his visit to the United States last February, President Xi revisited the small town and had a get-together with his old friends by the fireplace, which is yet another wonderful story of the friendship between the Chinese leader and ordinary Americans. Just as small streams were joined together to become a large river, the heartfelt mutual affection and the growing friendly exchange between the Chinese and American peoples will push China-U.S. relations to break waves and surge ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, the establishment and development of the CPE is a major event in our people-to-people -people exchange and the history of our bilateral relations. Over the past three years and more, the CPE has made continued progress and implemented over 100 important outcomes in the six areas of education, science and technology, culture, sports, women and youth. The 100,000 strong initiative of the U.S. side has enabled 68,000 American students to study in China. And the three 10,000 projects of the Chinese side has in total sent nearly 10,000 people to the United States for PhD studies or joint PhD programs and invited over 10,000 Americans to China for visits or studies. The China-U.S. Cultural Forum and the China-U.S. High-Level Women Leaders Dialogue have all become famous events. The Chinese Cultural Series were very rece well received in the United States. Traditional Chinese sports such as wushu and house qigong have gradually entered local U.S. communities. The two sides have also made positive progress in breast cancer cooperation and promotion of clean cook stoves. It is fair to say that China-U.S. people-to-people -people exchange now enjoys a stronger foundation, greater substance, substance, wider coverage, more diverse participation, and stronger far-reaching influence. China-U.S. relations now stand at a new historic starting point and face new opportunities of growth. At their two meetings held in Annenberg Estate and in St. Petersburg, President Xi and President Obama reached important agreement on building a new model of major country relationship between China and the United States. People-to-people -people exchange as one of the three pillars supporting the growth of China-U.S. relations plays an indispensable role and a strategic role in the building of this new model of major country relationship. Continued progress in people-to-people -people exchange can enable us to more effectively increase mutual understanding and trust and uphold mutual interests. In so doing, we will enable our public to better appreciate the spirit of mutual respect and win-win cooperation, thus laying a solid popular basis for the new model of major country relations between our two countries. We hope to work with the U.S. side to make the best use of this pioneering role of people-to-people -people exchange mechanism and comprehensively deepen and broaden such exchange. With this in mind, I wish to make three proposals. First, we need 
to seek common ground while resolving differences and further capitalize the bridge building role of mutual learning among various civilizations. Our world, rich and colorful as it is, has different civilizations. It is the beautiful leaves of different colors that make Washington DC in autumn so beautiful. There are no two identical leaves in the world. It's only natural that China and the United States, two major countries with different national conditions, histories, cultures, and systems, have differences with each other. The American people have the American dream, while the Chinese people have the Chinese dream. Despite our different choice of development paths, we have a lot in common as we all endeavor to pursue people's happiness, social harmony, economic prosperity, and world peace. People to people exchange is a solid bridge connecting China and the United States and they will lead us to our common bright future. We need to further increase interactions between cultural institutions, organizations and industries, learn from each other and draw upon each other's strength to seek commonality and harmony from diversity and difference and pursue development through interactions in a joint effort to promote progress of human civilizations. Second, we need to build trust, dispel misgivings, and further strengthen the catalytic effect of mutual trust between us. Former US President Franklin Roosevelt has a famous saying that the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Some of the differences and problems between China and the United States are, to a large extent, the result of lack of mutual understanding and trust. People to people exchange could gradually yet steadily bring the two peoples closer, increase their mutual trust, and remove prejudices and differences between them so that bilateral relations between us will become more resilient and dynamic. To this end, we need to further encourage all forms of exchanges between people from all sectors and at all ages and ensure the success of the exchange between young political leaders, scientists, engineers, and artists, and the Youth RME Partnership Program with a view to improving understanding of each other's national and social conditions. Third, we need to keep abreast of the times and open up new prospects of China-US people-to-people exchange. I am delighted to see that this meeting of the CPE is marked by three highlights. First, the theme activities of youth and innovation have been launched. The hope of sustainable development of China-US relations lies in the youth. Youth is the fresh force of the two countries and represents the bright future. I hope they will work together and enhance cooperation to co cope with the common challenges facing us and make fresh in contribution to world peace and progress. Second, think tank exchanges have been introduced. This afternoon, I will engage in interactions with American scholars from think tanks at the United States Institute of Peace. I hope Chinese and American scholars will carry out more joint research programs on such topics as how to build the new model of major country relationship and strengthen people-to-people -people exchange, providing intellectual support, policy recommendations, and theoretical basis for China-US people-to-people exchange. Third, provincial state people-to-people -people exchange under the framework of the CPE have expanded in depth and breadth. We need to bring the priority of our work down to lower levels and fully leverage the role of the mechanism of sister provinces, states, and cities so as to make people-to-people -people exchange closer to the society and people and ensure that people are truly involved and benefit from it. In this way, more and more people of our two countries will participate in and contribute to the exchange and share in its fruits. I believe the seeds of friendship, trust, and cooperation that we sow today will surely grow into a towering tree and yield bumper harvest. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I am convinced that with the platform of the CPE, 
mutual understanding, trust, and friendship between the two peoples will further build up. And the giant ship of China-U.S. relations will sail more steadily toward its great goal. I look forward to working with Secretary Kerry and everyone here to create an even brighter future of the China-U.S. people-to-people exchange. and make our due contribution to the growth of China-US relations, to the well-being of the two peoples and world peace. Thank you.